If you've stumbled across this video, chances are you've just been prescribed sertraline, sometimes known as Zoloft, or perhaps another SSRI antidepressant, and you're wondering, what can I expect? You've probably got lots of questions going on in your head. This video should answer them. Welcome back to A Happy Change. My name is Alex. Now, I'm going to discuss 10 frequently asked questions in this video. If you want to go a little bit deeper and gain a better understanding, I've got loads of videos that cover these topics in more detail. I'll link them all in the description, but look for the playlist, subscribe to the channel, you'll find them all there. So these are all questions that are commonly asked either in the comments underneath my videos or on the private Facebook group. Number one, will antidepressants make me happy? The short answer is that for many people, antidepressants will allow them the opportunity to be happy. So they'll pull you out the rut you're in and give you the headspace required to explore happiness, to find the things that make you happy and maybe deal with some of those triggers that put you down in that dark place to begin with. So they're not happy pills, but they allow your brain to be more effective in its use of serotonin, one of the really important neurotransmitters that helps regulate things like sleep, hunger, and consequently mood. Two, will I feel more depressed or anxious when I start taking them? An unfortunate side effect of many SSRIs, including sertraline, is that some people will experience increased symptoms of their mental illness. So this might mean that for the first couple of weeks, you have bouts of anxiety or depression that can be a bit challenging, actually, particularly when you feel like you're taking a medication that should be making you feel better. So the short answer is if you're in the first couple of weeks and you're having these moments of darkness or moments of anxiety, that's really normal. And it's something that will start to dissipate as you know the first couple of weeks go by. Number three, is it normal to experience, insert side effect here, the side effects of taking an SSRI like sertraline? There's a never ending list almost, and I would say that engage with that leaflet that comes with the pills, read through it, and just cross reference. You'll probably find the thing that you're experiencing is pretty normal, and the side effects will last for a couple of weeks. They might just vary in intensity. So for me, I've done loads of videos on side effects, but it would be like weird dreams, dry mouth, headaches, upset stomach. Some people will experience more severe side effects, like we talked about those moments of darkness and anxiety, perhaps some destructive thoughts coming in. And some people will experience lighter side effects, so maybe just a little bit of fatigue, but nothing too heavy. Generally speaking, though, the first couple of weeks are a rough ride. It gets easier. Number four. Are antidepressants addictive? Essentially not. However, when you come to take yourself off antidepressants, it needs to be in conversation with the doctor because they need to taper the dose down. Your brain's used to having a helper to hand when it comes to the serotonin cycle, and consequently, it's really important that you don't just go cold turkey. The big point of the medication is to put you in a position where you're more equipped to deal with things yourself. So through talking therapy, increased exercise, a better diet, etc., you're in a better position to manage your mental health moving forward. So whilst they're not addictive, it's easy to see why you might get used to the feeling of taking them. Like I say, it's just important that if you decide to come off them, you taper slowly down. Number five, one of the most commonly asked questions, when do antidepressants start working? It can be about six weeks. And that's a really tricky concept because you probably want them to start working right now. The first couple of weeks, particularly because of the side effects, are really rough. And then that week three, four, five, and six, where nothing quite is happening, but you're not feeling the side effects, that can be a tricky period as well because you just want to get to the point where you start to feel better. And some people might start to experience those changes within the first few weeks. Which takes us to question six. What happens if I don't feel better? So really, you're going to be on the antidepressant six weeks before you can feel anything. So if you get to week seven and you still haven't really noticed any change, at that point you speak to your doctor and see whether an increased dose or a change in medication is most appropriate. It could be that sertraline, and Zoloft, Prozac, whatever it is that you're taking, isn't the right fit. Or it could just be that if you're on, say, 25 milligram, moving to 50 milligram might be the best option for you. And likewise, moving from 50 to 100, 150, perhaps to 200, which is the maximum dose. Number seven, what happens if you miss a dose? 
Well, the general advice is to just take the next dose. Say, for example, you normally take your dose at seven o'clock at night and it gets to half 10 and you realize you haven't taken it. You can take that day's dose. If it's the next morning and you wake up and you realize you forgot yesterday's dose, you just wait for your next scheduled time. Ideally, you're not going to forget to so try and build it into a routine. It's really important that you maintain a consistency, but it happens to all of us. And there are times certainly where I've forgotten to take it. Don't panic. Wait for the next dose. Take as normal. Never double dose. So if you miss a 50 milligram tablet on a Thursday, don't take two 50 milligram tablets on a Friday. Only take your standard daily dose. Number eight, how long do I need to take antidepressants? Well, Current guidance suggests around four months to 12 months, and then it's reviewed regularly. Some people will take longer. Some people will, after four months, probably be in a better position and be able to slowly taper off their medication. It's all a decision with your doctor though. So make sure you maintain a dialogue with them. Make sure you talk about how you are feeling, what's improved, what hasn't improved. Number nine, can I exercise while taking antidepressants? Yeah, and in fact, exercise is one of the really key things that you can do right now to help your mental health. So if you're not already exercising, 20 minutes outside, walk around the block or a short cycle, doesn't have to be a jog or run or anything like that. It could just be a walk, really, really important. Not only the fresh air, the birds singing, the sun on your skin, the wind in your hair, all of those things are really, really important to improving your mental health. But just the physical activity of it as well is really useful as well. Anything that you can do to increase your heart rate for 20 minutes to an hour a day, really, really worthwhile in terms of improving your mental health. So yes, keep exercising, just monitor it. If you don't feel right, you don't feel well, take it to your doctor and seek their advice. Lastly, some people might think this is one of the most important ones. Can I drink alcohol while taking an antidepressant? The short answer is yes. If you look at the leaflet that came with your medication, it will likely say, we don't advise you drink alcohol whilst taking sertraline or Prozac or whatever it is that you're currently taking. And personally, I wouldn't advise you to drink. However, you're unlikely to feel too much of a negative effect. What's worth bearing in mind is it's counterproductive to the medication. It's like going to the gym every day for a week and then eating, drinking 10,000 calories on a Saturday. It can undo some of the good work. Really do consider whether or not cutting out alcohol altogether is an option for you. It's something I would advise anyone who's suffering with mental illness to do. Everyone has different approaches. For you, if you wanna have a couple of drinks on a Friday night, whilst I can't offer medical advice, I'm sure you will be fine. I think that was 10 questions. And hopefully you feel a little bit more informed now about the reality of taking an SSRI. For me, sertraline has been life-changing. It's allowed me to kind of put some other things in place to positively change my life. And that's what this channel is all about. It's not just about medication. It's about improving our lives, our mental well-being. So if this has been useful, like the video, tell me about your journey in the comment section. Subscribe if you want to. See you in the private Facebook group. My name's Alex, this was a happy change. You're doing fabulously, and I'm gonna see you next time. Peace.